The Bell Star Deluxe MIPS is another sport touring focused helmet from Bell, and though it is coming underneath the full sport focused Race Star Flex, that doesn't mean it's coming any less safe. So stay tuned as we run through the helmet specs before taking it out on our data driven helmet road test, where we'll bring you the facts. Sebastian from Champion Helmets and the Bell Star Deluxe MIPS is going to be another premium sport touring focused helmet from US manufacturer Bell. This is going to be coming as a more upper to mid range Bell option that is designed for more street riding than something like the Race Star or the Pro Star. One of the features that distinguishes the Star Deluxe is its MIPS interior, which will be another energy management system designed to deal with those rotational impacts, making this another safety focused helmet. So with a recommended retail price of about 500 euros or 600 US dollars, the Star will be competing with the Shark Spartan GT Carbon, the HJC Arfa 70 Carbon, the Scorpion XO 1400 Air, AGV K6, the Shoei GTR 2, and the Arai Profile V. Before diving into the helmet, don't forget to check out and subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date on our latest data driven helmet road tests, where we actually head out on the road with our rider, measure the helmet's performance, and bring you the data. The Bell Star Deluxe MIPS is constructed out of Bell's Trimatrix shell construction, which is an aramid carbon fiber and fiberglass composite. This means that the helmet will have a light weight, and what's even better is that it comes in an incredible six outer shell sizes, with each size getting its own EPS liner. This means that the helmet will always offer the correct fit in both helmet sizing and EPS liner, which means that both safety and comfort are simultaneously improved. Though most quality manufacturers produce multiple shell sizes for their helmets, they are often shared between sizes, making 6 one of the highest we've seen since each size gets its own outer shell. In addition to the MIPS system, which we'll go into later, the helmet is coming ECE2205 certified, and it has earned 5 of 5 stars from Sharp, and lastly it has a light weight of about 1525 grams in a size M, or 3 pounds and 6 ounces, which is about standard for most sport touring helmets. For ventilation, the Bell Star will come with the same velocity flow ventilation system as the top tier Race Star helmet. This means that there is a large adjustable vent in the chin, with four air inlets, with a secondary stopper inside the chin bar in case you want to bring more air into the helmet. There are also four more inlets in the brow, which are also adjustable with a single switch, and just above this, you then get another brow vent operated by a switch. Lastly, the hot air in the helmet will escape out the rear through a single adjustable exhaust, as well as two more just underneath the spoiler. Based on the Race Star's strong road test ventilation performance, we'd expect this to be the same for the Star, but we're still going to see how it does out on the road. The visor of the helmet is Bell's own Panavision Optical Class 1 distortion free visor designed for a wide field of view with special cutouts to improve peripheral vision while avoiding visual distortion. The helmet does come with an additional dark smoke shield, which is always nice to see, and even comes pinlock prepared with the Anti-Fog Max Vision insert provided in the box. One thing you'll notice though is that compared to the Raystar, the Bell helmet does not include any tear-off posts, since it's built with a more street focus, which means that this helmet will do best in a more upright, sport touring riding position. Nonetheless, we are getting the same quick release visor removal system. So all you do is lift the visor into the open position, push the button on the side and slide the lock forward to release it. You just have to do this on both sides and the visor will lift out. To remount the visor, all you need to do is slide the slides back in until they click back into place and then do it on both sides. Next up we come to the Star's interior liner. The Ecstatic X-T2 silver liner in the helmet is designed to be removable, washable and antibacterial to keep your helmet fresh over successive rides. It is designed with glasses wearers in mind, since it does come with cutouts in the cheek pads. To remove the liner, you've got the cheek pads once more, which are held in with a set of snaps and there's also a double D-ring chin strap for keeping the helmet on your head. With the cheek pads out now, you can then remove the comfort liner, which is also held in by two snaps at the front and back. With the interior removed, you can see the helmet is prepared with integrated speaker pockets for your choice of system, Though if you don't have a system, then you also get noise isolator pads, which also fit inside these grooves. The helmet also comes with plenty of deep EPS grooves for airflow, and in addition to this, you are getting the MIPS system integrated into the helmet. This is an advanced energy management system designed to manage the energies of oblique impacts, and this means that if the helmet hits something at an angle, then a secondary slip layer will allow the helmet to move slightly, 
and reduce the force transferred to your head. Overall, this is a great addition to the helmet since this does mean improved safety. Now, for the main event, let's actually see how this helmet does out on the road when measured. Before we get to the data, just a quick reminder for how we set up our road test. On the left, we have a white monitor showing the day's interior temperature in degrees Celsius from a thermometer placed between the helmet's liner and EPS. In the middle, we have a decibel meter showing the helmet's internal noise level from a microphone placed near our rider's ear. And lastly, on the right, we have a telephone showing the day's average airspeed on the helmet from a bike-mounted anemometer so that we can fairly compare our helmets. In the middle on the dash, we also have our rider's speed and the day's exterior temperature. We performed all our tests on the same bike on long stretches of highway at 130 kilometers per hour or 80 miles per hour and we're also the first to actually test helmets in this way. When we tested out the Bell Star Deluxe, we had a warm autumn day with the day's airspeed on the helmet at about 120 to 130 kilometers per hour, though we did get some gusts of wind towards the end. The day's exterior temperature was at about 14 degrees Celsius or 57 Fahrenheit, but thanks to the numerous vents in the chin and forehead, as well as the MIPS interior, the Bell helmet showed us 13 degrees Celsius or 55 Fahrenheit on our meter. This means we had a temperature difference of 1 degree Celsius, which is excellent, and considering the results of the other sport touring helmets that we've tested, this is even more amazing considering that the Shark Spartan GT Carbon, Shoei GTR2, and AGV K6 all came in 1 degree hotter to the outside, and though we did see the HJC R470 Carbon coming in with an excellent result of no difference to the outside, the Bell helmet still comes out on top by being 1 degree cooler. This is also hardly surprising since the star is coming based on the Bell Race Star Sports helmet, which is built for speed and airflow. When we tested the Raystar out, it also came out with one degree cooler to the exterior, which was also impressive, so either option is great for airflow. For noise, we also had a strong reading of about 101 decibels on our meter, which, generally speaking, is also very good for a full face sport tour. This means that the helmet actually ties with the AGV K6 as far as noise with 101 decibels, while also coming in quieter than the Shark Spartan GT Carbon with 102 decibels, and quieter than the Bell Raystar with its 103. Though this comparison between the Raystar and Star is to be expected since race helmets are often not designed for noise isolation and can wind up being louder. Nonetheless, the Star Deluxe still did not quite manage to beat the HJC R470 Carbon nor the Shoei GTR2 for noise isolation since both helmets came in at an incredibly quiet 97 decibels, which means that these two helmets are currently among the quietest that we've tested to date. When out on the road, our rider found the helmet offered a good field of view thanks to the Panavision visor and that the helmet ventilated nicely. Overall, they were very surprised at how much the helmet overperformed since it also did turn out to be both quiet and very comfortable with a soft and well padded liner which ticks the boxes for what you need on longer touring rides. The magnetic chin strap was also helpful since it made closing it easier and lastly, the helmet does not come with a drop down sun visor a photochromic shield is available, which would allow the helmet to be used in a wider range of conditions, similar to the Shoei NXR. Finally, we come to our champion helmets ranking of the Bell Star Deluxe. For material with a fiberglass composite outer shell and six outer shell sizes, the helmet earns four and a half stars. For a weight of 1,525 grams in a size M, it earns another four stars. Since the visor is pinlock prepared with the insert in the box and a quick replacement system, the helmet earns four stars. For noise with a result of 101 decibels, the bell earns a decent three stars. And since the star was one degree cooler to the outside, it earns a full five stars. Lastly, the helmet's liner was surprisingly comfortable, though in a different way to the race star, which earns the helmet four stars. Overall, this brings the bell star deluxe to a total of four stars at 20 euros per star, which means that even if it was slightly louder, it does offer good competition against the Shoei GTR2 AGV K6 and the HJC R470 Carbon, since these helmets also came in at 4 stars with 20 euros per star, with the exception of the K6, which was 17 and a half euros per star. The star also finished just slightly ahead of the 4 star scoring Shark Spartan GT Carbon with a euro per star difference, and the Scorpion XO1400 Air still remains our value for money top dog, with its 4 stars at 13 euros per star. If you still want to learn more about the Bell Star Deluxe MIPS, then make sure to check out championhelmets.com where we have our lowest price guarantee and plenty of bundle deals, including additional visors and discounted communication systems. The Bell Star Deluxe MIPS is another Bell helmet that delivers. Though not as sport focused as the Race Star, this is a strong helmet for street riders hoping for a sporty look and strong safety, especially with the extra integrated MIPS system. 
If you liked the video, then don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date on our latest data-driven helmet road tests like these, and let us know if you have any questions down below. I'm Sebastian from Champion Helmets, and thanks for watching.